Good afternoon to you all. Uh, I'm going to present uh, a study that is under development. Uh, uh, his base, and it is based on a single question. Will Colombia marine and protected, protected areas fulfill their, fu their, their functions in different climate change scenarios? Colombia's marine territory is near 50% of the total national uh, jurisdiction and has economic exclusive zones in both the Caribbean Sea and the Pacific Ocean. The Pacific represents the 37% of the Caribbean, uh, and the Caribbean represents 63% of the total oceanic areas. Protected areas, terrestrial or marine, is defined by the Convention of Biological Diversity as gen geographically defined area which is designed or regulated and managed to achieve a specific conservation objectives. The MPAs of Colombia represents about 14% of the total uh, national marine spa spaces focus on different conservation objectives, like protecting, uh, like protecting and preserving ecosystems, species and special places like breeding grounds of turtles and whales. There are 20 MPAs with different IUCN categories of conservation among these MPAs. Nine of category two, national parks. One of category three, natural monuments. Three of category four, a species management area, and one of category six, sustainable use. There is about six MPAs of national conservation designation focused on sustainable uh, exploitation districts. The Colombia's MPA are composed of different seascapes, from coastal cliffs and marine spaces like Uramba National Park to coral reef and pelagic ecosystems, like Deep Sea Coral National Park. There are different conservation objectives among the MPAs of Colombia, but the main focus of some of these MPAs is to protect endangered species and key reproduction breeding areas of those species and to preserve the ecosystem services. Of one of the MPAs represents a Mission Blue Hope spot special places that are critical to the health of the ocean. This MPA is Malpelo Island, an important hammerhead and silky sharks aggregation areas. Yet, as in many other countries of the world, marine biodiversity and fisheries in Colombia are increasingly being threatened by uh, development projects, population growth, uh, introduction of invasive uh, species like lionfish, overfishing, oil and gas exploitation, and, of course, climate change. But it, le uh, it led us to several questions. What happens with the future of these MPAs in a climate change scenarios? In the near and far future, these MPAs that make their function in conserved ecosystems and species in the present will fulfill the same function in a different world, product of climate change. How can we possibly know that the design and designation of these MPAs evaluate, evaluating contemporary pressures and risk for biodiversity will help to maintain the, function, the functional ecosystem services that maintain our economical structures based on a blue economy? To evaluate the ability of the MPAs of Colombia to conserve species in the climate change scenarios, we choose four species to evaluate the potential responses of these MPAs in maintaining the su su suitable areas that will guarantee the performance of these species in the future. The species we choose are the humpback whale, a least concerned species in the EUCN red list, a scallop hammerheart shark, an endangered species, and a hawksbill turtle, and a stuck coral, and a stuck horn coral, both critically endangered species. We developed a, a set of suitable, uh, uh, of habitat suitable models in order to predict the areas with potential pressure, uh, presence of the species. 
we use the algorithm uh, Maxin to construct models of suitable areas for four uh, uh, the, of the for four species mentioned. The Maxin algorithm based his training on uh, in only presence da data, and then we can predict the presence in different areas or time sets. We build a simple uh, function in R for downloading and organizing the occurrence data or every, uh, of every species from GBIF and OBIS, and then we export uh, the table and manage it, it in RGIS, along with data downloaded from the, from the CIAM, the Marine Environmental Information System of Colombia. BioOracle is a global data set uh, consisting of 23 geophysical, biotic, and climate uh, raster. The data set has a global coverage data composed of sa satellite base and in situ measure data, representing various aspects of the marine environment relevant for a species distribution. Raster, uh, rasters are distributed at a resolution of 9.2 kilometers. And and a uniform land mask was applied. From this da database, we choose three environmental variables and six derivatives for the modeling, temperature, salinity, and current velocity. We add another environmental variable that is not re present in the BioOracle database, and that is bathymetry. For testing the effects of climate change on suitable uh, areas for distribution of this species, we choose two climate change scenarios and two sets of years, 2050 and, 200, uh, and 2,100 uh, years. RPC 2.6 represents uh, an optimistic ex scenario where concentrations of CO2 declines gradually to the year 2,100. 2, the RCP 8.5 represents a less optimistic scenario where concentrations of CO2 keep rising to the year 2,100. It is called business as usual scenario. We establish the number of MPAs containing suitable areas as the main indicator of functional success of each MPA to conserve each species. We compare the scores of each species in this, uh, in this scenario to the, few, to the four future scenarios. The results show that the Stockholm coral had less suitable areas scores for all the MPAs, and the sea turtle had the, uh, the highest score in the present scenario with a score of 15. The hammerhead shark obtained a score of 10, and the whale had a score of 8. In the RCP 2.6 scenario, by the year 2050, uh, there, were a were, there were a diminution in the scores of the sea turtle by two MPAs, and the hammerhead shark had the greatest diminution in the scores by six. It means less than a half uh, compared to the present scenario. In the RCP 8.5 scenario by the year 2050, uh, there were uh, a diminution in the uh, scores of the sea turtle by three MPAs, and the hammerhead shark had a diminution in the scores by eight. In the RCP 2.6 scenario, by the year two, uh, uh, 2100, there were a diminution in the scores of the sea turtle by one MPA, and the hammerhead shark had a diminution in the scores by two. The RCP 8.5 scenario by the year two, uh, 2100 were the worst case scenario. For the species, the Stockholm coral, the, there were there were a total loss of suitable areas in the MPAs. Uh, for the species of Stockholm coral, 
there were a total, a total loss of suitable areas in the MPAs. For the hammerhead shark and the sea turtle, there were a drastic diminution in the number of MPAs containing uh, suitable areas. Just one MPA showed uh, suitable areas for these two species. And finally, for the humpback whale, there, there were a diminution of two MPAs. For all the species in general, the RCP 8.5 uh, were detrimental to the actual suitable areas. Shrinking and distributional changes of the suitable areas uh, for all species were the main findings. None of, none of the MPAs as designed today can hold the species suitable areas in the RCP 8.5 scenario. RCP, the main in the main conclusions, RCP 8.5 scenario will drive to changes in the suitable environmental areas of, of the species that will lead to local extinction and distributional sh shrinking, and the MPAs as, uh, as designed today will not cope the risk. It is necessary to strengthen the current policies of certain uh, MPAs, like changing the EUCN category and a strengthened conservation program for this uh, species locally to secure the reduction extinction risk. The commitment of the shipping industry to, to the reduction of greenhouse gases will help to avoid scenarios like RCP 8.5 and will help to the objective of the marine uh, protected areas of Colombia, the conservation of biodiversity. Thank you so much. Any questions? We have one over here. <laughs> Hi, great presentation. I was just um, wondering if you had any agreement between the present scenario and what is actually present in your MPAs. Well, we are evaluating uh, the, the models uh -huh. right now, but uh, we, do, uh, we actually do, do that with, um, with uh, the occurrence data. So we split the occurrence data, uh, one, uh, one set for training mm -hmm. and one set for testing the, the model. So uh, all, all the models uh, has 95% uh, of, acu of accuracy uh, of the of the real presence of the species, so but uh, we have to improve the our occurrence that data because, uh, for example, the Stockholm horn coral uh, has not that many occurrence data uh, in Colombia. So we have to improve uh, the models through that. Okay. I, I hope. Yeah, you, that was great. Thank okay. you. <laughs> Any more questions? Yes. Hi, also, like, I really think that was an awesome presentation. Thank I you. Do, you're welcome. <laughs> I do a lot of work with marine protected areas, and I was just wondering what your best recommendation was for how we should be structuring them. Like, should they be fluid, or do you think they're not really effective, or do we need to just protect everything? Like, what are your thoughts on that? Well, uh, it's better to have uh, something protected than nothing, isn't it? But... Uh, well, we are experimenting. We are thinking about that. We have to to uh, to do, run this kind of test and then uh, try to to find the answers. But if you ask me, I think we are uh, we have to think in the, in the future of the MPAs like uh, adaptative, like I don't know how to say it in English, uh, like well. Uh, we design uh, the MPAs thinking for today, but we have to 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 think ahead of us because climate change is right now uh, storming everything. So uh, we, we we have to to think uh, the MPAs in in that kind of scenarios, for example. So uh, it it will help us to to improve that um, uh, that uh, marine protected areas. Uh, for example, uh, the Hope Spot uh, initiative is a is a great 
uh, um, conscious making. Is, is that okay? Yeah. Uh, yeah? It's, uh, it's, 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 great. it's a great initiative. For example, here in, in, in Colombia, uh, Malpelo Island uh, is a hope spot. Well, it's actually a, a hope spot for at least for the shark, for the hammerhead sharks. I don't know if that responds your question. Yes, thank you very much. Okay. Thank you, thank you so much, Christian. Another round of applause for him, please.